right, so here he is, one of the consensus greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight in the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. Few guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Jones steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. So you can sort of feel an uptick in terms of the crowd energy. A lot of these fans came to watch this man who you think has the skill set to be a future UFC champion. I do, John. And I will go on record saying that. I believe this kid has a huge future ahead of him. He has a ton of skills. He checks all the boxes. He's got the wrestling. He's got the grappling. He's got the cardio. He's got the toughness. He can do it all. But it is on him now to make good on all the work that him and his team have done to put him in this position. And the UFC, as you well know, does a masterful job with the matchmaking. When a fighter is this hyped and gets to this point of their career, they give him a guy who they think can beat him. You we'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Tabora not all that far removed from a five-fight winning streak. Then he capped with a vicious knockout of Will Harris. No denying the power. A little bit undersized at heavyweight, but oftentimes he will have the speed advantage. That should certainly be the case in this matchup here tonight. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this match. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones's call of card. Missed with that right hand. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Johnny Bone. Guillotine jump! Oh, looks like he's got the sub locked in. defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. tabor has got the full mount. This is where he wants to be. Oh, postures up and delivers a big... Oh, 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 oh. Tabor is trying to lock up on a submission now. Wow, that is great. So 
submission defense. Excellent ground and pound there by Jones. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Tabora. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, that rear naked choke is tight. Oh, great submission defense. Lands with the ground and pound. Four sounds for the end of round one. Right now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. to appear on the right side of his body. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Jones is in half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Always offensive, lands a shot from the bottom. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Just over two minutes now to go on the round. And the ground strikes starting to pile up. Oh, good movement to avoid that. Right oh. Right oh. Right oh. Right oh. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Jones. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent is allowing him to not get hit with anything too damaging. He's got to start throwing down. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Johnny Bone. Attacking all ball. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. 
Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round, so the fight was won by the submission there. Just as the horn sounded, safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there is the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit to both the offense and the defense. Ready yeah, fight? you got to give credit Ready. to both guys. But nothing more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange like we just witnessed. One guy almost submitted, one guy escaping. It's one of the most exciting things you can watch in all of this martial arts. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Leg kicks clean like that. Nice straight punch there. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those. Hey, my I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Tabor is cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. All right, he gets the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now take full advantage of it. He passed the half guard. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Jones. Hard to win MMA fights off of your back, but these strikes are useful from the bottom. There it is. Now he's going to mount. He's got to be careful here. I need hard hammer fist now. Under two minutes to go in round three. This man. That will go. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight Celebrate! They should all be very proud. One final time to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, John Bones Jones! All right, so John Jones, your winner here tonight by TKO, as you heard there from Bruce Buffer. He prioritized a finish tonight. A lot of decisions of late. No judges scorecards needed tonight. Just loving the intensity of Jones in this fight. Saying everything that we wanted to hear, but then going out there and executing and getting the TKO victory. He looked great tonight and shows why he's still such a dangerous fighter in this division. And, of course, this result opens up a lot of compelling matchups. Congratulations to John Jones.